Oh, no. Wow. No way. That is so crazy. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So today um, we're doing an unboxing. We got five big packages here. Um, I think two of these are Lego Shop at Home. One is obviously Amazon. Um, this one, I believe, here is from uh, Breaks and Pieces. I hope. I hope that's my Breaks and Pieces order. Um, and then I believe this one is from Bricklink. Um, so uh, we got our Spartan knife on our big table. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So let's go ahead and dive into this one first. So I believe this is a pre-order that we got last month. Try to be very careful here on opening that up. All right. So we got two of the new um, T-Rex Breakout. Um, so this is one of the new 18 plus uh, diorama sets from um, Jurassic Park. Uh, so I'm very excited to have this and add it to my collection. All right, so I'm going to switch sides on you real quick. Um, this is another Lego Shop at Home order, also a pre-order. And you can see that it is, boom, two more T-Rex breakouts. The reason I went ahead and purchased them now is because I'm scared that it's not going to come back in stock. I don't know what the production number uh, on this was. But I have a feeling that this is going to sell out really quickly um, and probably stay sold out for a while. So I wanted to get some for investment purposes. So um, I went ahead and picked them up when we had the chance. Okay, so next up, this is a Bricklink order. Um, I've been waiting for what's in these two boxes for a while. Um, actually, I purchased these like you know a couple days ago and they were shipped out. So that's not really what I mean. But what I mean is I've been waiting for these sets. Um, for a long time, I've had my eye on them, um, so I'm very happy to have these. I'm very happy to have these in my collection. And I did message the seller and ask them to not send the boxes so I could get cheaper shipping, and they just didn't open my message, so <laughs> um, that's okay. First, I'm going to grab the set in the back so we can take a look at... Boom! Boom! This set. So this is uh, 10218. This is the Modular Pet Store. Um, we do not have this in our city. We do not have this in our collection. This is the first one of these modulars I'm picking up. Um, so I'm very excited to have this. I'm super pumped to get this built um, and get it displayed. Next up from that Bricklink order, we have what may be my new favorite modular in the city. This is the Palace Cinema, um, set number 10232. Um, I was going to try and part this out, but I've just been so busy with other projects that I just had to pull the trigger on it. Um, I got a pretty decent deal on both of these. So I purchased this set, um, the Palace Cinema. Uh, that one was 400 um, sealed in box. Uh, and then this pet store was 300 um, So after everything was shipped... It was a little under $800 for both of those. Um, you know, that's a lot more than I would prefer to pay. However, both of these being retired modulars, um, you know, the value on these things just, it jumps up so fast. Um, but I'm very happy to have this and add it to my collection. And I'm really happy to have both of these for the Lego City. Okay, so our last big box here, um, we ordered this a couple days ago from Amazon. Um, so this said I've also been eyeballing for a while not quite as long as those um, but this is a set that I definitely wanted to pick up and not even to do the main build for but to make a rebrickable model so Amazon was running a sale on this set um, it was 20% off um, so we picked up this is set number 42110 it is the Lego Technic Land Rover um, so there is a rebrickable model. I will throw a picture up here. Um, it is of a Jeep Gladiator build um, with a modification to do some really big off-road tires. You can also modify the build um, to make it um, remote controlled. So you have to have this set here and then some parts that we actually picked up on Lego's new bricks and pieces for the rims and tires. Um, those rims and tires only came in um, I think one, maybe two sets, um, but we picked them up from Bricks and Pieces for a very, very low price compared to Bricklink. Um, 
so that's very cool. Very happy about that. But yeah, so uh, we're going to jump into this as soon as we get a chance to do a really cool um, alternate build. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm very, very excited. I'm, I'm almost more excited to do this than I am some of the modulars. Um, but I'm going to move this out the way. Let's take a look at this last box. All right, so we uh, kind of adjusted the camera a little bit to zoom in, um, take a look and see what's inside here. I have no idea exactly what could be on here. I've never gotten anything from um, Bricks and Pieces before in a box. It always comes in like bubble mailers. So, so it was a really substantial Bricks and Pieces order, so I'm hoping that's what's in here. Let's take a look. Oh, no. Wow. No way. That is so okay. crazy. So these are the tires that I was telling you about just a minute ago. So that's so that's so wild. Um, so we ordered these tires. Look at the size of these things. They are absolutely massive. Let me zoom out here. Okay, there we go. All right, so look at these. Look at the size of these freaking tires. They are huge. Okay, so that's like the size of my fist, right? That's crazy. So we got 10 of the tires. We also got 10 of the rims. I literally ordered this stuff two days ago. Not even two days ago. I ordered this after I ordered that. So literally one, it's probably been one business day. One business day since I placed an order on these, we received them. That is so crazy. I ordered a massive bricks and pieces order from Lego. No joke, five weeks ago. It was like almost $200 worth of bricks and pieces. I still haven't got it. So that's that's so crazy to me. Um, but yeah, all right. Well, I guess I, I guess I know what I'm working on next. I'm going to take these massive friggin' tires, and uh, we're going to build out a really sweet build. All right, guys, if you did like that video, please smash the like button um, and turn that bell notification on uh, when you subscribe so you'll get more awesome content like this. Uh, this was a mega haul for us. We spent like $2,000 on it. Um, so any comments, likes, subscriptions, all that stuff helps get the video out there um, just for uh, everyone to see. So um, really appreciate you guys watching. We will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.